Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim brothers inshallah just a few minutes of your time inshallah yesterday we mentioned that after farz namaz if you can inshallah ayatul kursi every individual should read after every farz namaz inshallah between you and entry into jannah the only thing which is a barrier is dying inshallah today the the dua that has been mentioned by allama jalaluddin suyuti rahimahullah in tafsir al jalalain right at the end of surah bani israil This is ayat number 111 of Surah Bani Israel. When you start Surah Kahf, it's just above the beginning of Surah Kahf. Alhamdulillah, alladhi lam yattakhid walada. That ayat, inshallah, is ayat number 111 of Surah Bani Israel. If you read that, inshallah, Allah Ta'ala will give you izza, honor, dignity in this world, and Allah will give you in the hereafter. After every farz namaz, try and make a ma'mul and a practice of reading this ayat as well, inshallah, alongside your ayatul kursi. So ayat number 111 of Surah Bani Israel. Alongside this, Shah Abdul Ghani Fulpuri Rahimahullah used to mention, if someone were to read 100 times, he used to say, this is in the hadith, could you read, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, Subhanallah al-Azim, 100 times every single day. If you do, Shah Abdul Ghani Fulpuri Rahimahullah used to say, in Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, what are you doing? Number one, you are praising Allah, number one. Number two, you are glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are mentioning the greatness of Allah. Uska hame kya fayda hoga? Number eight, Allah ta'ala humare gunahon ko mu'af kar denge. Number one, because you are purifying Allah, Allah will purify you. You are saying that Allah ta'ala is purified, Allah is clean, Allah is beyond faults. So you are saying inshallah, they, subhanallah, bari ajib, bari ajib tasbih. Because subhanallah comes from the word sabaha. Or sabahat ka maana, paani ke upar is tarah tairana. कि आपका सर पानी के ऊपर रहे और आपका पूरा बदन पानी के अंदर रहे इस तरह तैरना इसको कहते हैं सबाहत सबाहत मीन्स टू स्विम इन अ मैन वे योर बॉडी इज द एंटायर बॉडी इज इन द वोटर बट योर हेड इज आउटसाइड द वोटर दिस इज कॉल्ड सबाहत व्हाट आर यू सेइंग ओ अल्लाह यू आर एज क्लीन जैसे मेरा सर जो है पानी के ऊपर है ये अल्लाह इसी तरह आप बिल्कुल पाक है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल साफ है تو ان شاء اللہ ایک فائدہ تو یہ ہوگا اللہ تعالیٰ ول کلینز از نمبر ون اینڈ نمبر ٹو وین یو آر مینشننگ دا ورڈ العظیم وچ مینز اے گریٹنس آف اللہ اللہ ول گیو یو گریٹنس ان لو آف دا فیکٹ دیٹ یو آر پرائزنگ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ سو ان شاء اللہ دیز ٹو تھنگز ان شاء اللہ یو کین ڈو ون ورڈ آف ایڈوائس ان شاء اللہ امام جعفر الصادق رحمہ اللہ ہو واز بورن ان ایٹی تھری اے ہیچ اینڈ پاسٹ اوے ان ون ہنڈریڈ اینڈ فورٹی ایٹ اے ہیچ یو سو مینشن اے بیوٹیفل سینٹینس سائز بیفور یو اسٹارٹ اینی عبادت کوئی بھی عبادت شروع کرو بفور دیٹ ریڈ استغفر اللہ ربی من کل دم بن و اطوب الہ بفور یو اسٹارٹ اینی عبادت وائی ہی ٹیکس اٹ فرام دی آیت ان سورۃ التوبہ التائبون العابدون سو واٹس مینشن فرسٹ التائبون اینڈ دین یو گوٹ دی ورڈ العابدون سو یو سو سی ایوری سنگل عابد مس بی ا تائب تو پہلے توبہ کرے اینڈ ان شاء اللہ بائی توبہ یو ہیو کلینز یور سیلف And then you're doing ibadah, so there is a hope in the mercy of Allah. Allah Ta'ala will most certainly, inshallah, forgive. Inshallah. And as a modern Masihullah Jalalabadi, rahimahullah, used to say, as soon as you commit a sin, intizar mat karo for tawbah. Do it straight away. Why? Because the angel of the right is in charge of the angel on the left. So when, a, when you do a good deed, the angel on the right does not have to ask anyone. He will just write it down straight away. But when you commit a sin, the angel on the left asks the angel on the right, is it okay for me to write? And the angel says, no, banda tawbah karega. He will do tawbah. We are given three opportunities. The angel on the left asks the one on the right three times. After the three times, if a person has not done tawbah, now how long does that last? Allah Ta'ala knows best. Does it last for one hour after you, you committed the sin? Or does it last for more than that? Allah Ta'ala knows best. But inshallah, straight after you've committed this sin, inshallah you do tawbah. And inshallah, the last point, inshallah, there are five things that will soften our hearts. There are five things that will soften our hearts. I'll just mention all five today, and then inshallah, from tomorrow onwards, we'll just elaborate very briefly on each one. Number one, there are, inshallah, there are multiple things that will harden the heart. That will harden the heart. What are the things that will soften the heart? You know, Rasulullah said in regards to the people of Yemen, whom aliyanu afidatan wa araqqu qulubin. What did Rasulullah say? The, the ghisha, the ghisha and the veil that you have on the uh, heart, is called, that is called ghisha. 
It's called Ghisha. That means the people of Yemen have a very, very soft skin on their heart. That means Nasihat penetrates very easily into their hearts, goes very easily into their hearts. So how do we soften our hearts? There are five things. Number one, Tilawatul Quran. Number two, remembrance of death. Number three, Ziyaratul Qubur. Ziyaratul Qubur, try and go to the graveyard. Number four, Dhikrullahi. Dhikrullah. So, and, and number five, company of those who cry. Stay in the company of those who cry, and inshallah, you will cry. And that will also soften the heart.